Fair Guitar Hero is the latest development in the ongoing DARPA project to create the next generation of prosthetic arms. The project's final limb, including the arm and hand, will have 22 degrees of freedom. The arm itself is a mechanical marvel. But how can an amputee control them? The goal is controlling the mechanical joints with the electrical activity of the residual muscles. Johns Hopkins University researchers developed a training program to help amputees map their muscle signals to a virtual arm. Go. The exercises have to be repeated dozens of times. Rest. The process is boring Go. and demoralizing. To help with motivation, Johns Hopkins researchers Robert Armiger and Jacob Fogelstein borrowed Guitar Hero from a colleague and rewired it to take inputs from the virtual integration environment. First they tested it on volunteers with intact limbs. <laughs> And when they were sure it worked, John Cunningham decided to give it a try. Here's how it works. He flexes the muscles he associates with opening or closing different fingers. The electrodes taped to his forearm pick up electrical signals from those residual muscles. Those signals are processed to map the muscle contractions to his intent. Eventually, these same algorithms will help amputees drive the prosthetic hand. But for now, the researchers have figured out how to make training fun. <laughs> Seventy percent. Not bad. Might have been the pressure of the solar. <laughs> solar is always tough. For IEEE Spectrum, this is Sally 80.